boys and girls, I have um, a rather riotous book for you this morning for Karen Reads, coming to you from my living room here in South Berwick. It's called Cousin Ruth's Tooth. I couldn't find anything out about the author and the illustrator except their names. The author is Amy McDonald and the illustrator is Marjorie Priceman. Okay, Cousin Ruth's Tooth. Listen for the rhyme. Rachel Fister, get your sister. Mrs. Fister, spread the word. Cousin Ruth has lost a tooth. Oh, careless youth, it's too absurd. Never mind it, we shall find it. We shall search both low and high. Oops, I forgot to show you the picture. There's Cousin Ruth without her tooth. Never mind it, we shall find it. We shall search both low and high. Well, said Ruth, to tell the truth, I, hush now, darling, don't you cry. They interrupted Ruth before she could finish. Find your cousins, several dozens. Get your uncles and your aunt. Bess, Matilda, Olga, Zelda, Mary, Lee, and Uncle Lance. They're all searching. Uncle Walter, never falter. Search the cellar, check the roof. Norma Jean and Aunt Bodine, don't go check the attic for the tooth. You can see them up in the attic looking, looking. Search the garden, search the yard, check the engine of the car, check the hat box, check the cat box, look inside the VCR. You can ask your parents what a VCR is, that's kind of dated. Faster, harder, search the larder. Check the pockets of your pants. Harder, faster, quell disaster. Set on B, who'd been to France. The larder is the refrigerator. Though they search in ways most ruthless, after days they were still toothless. This adventures of the dentures quickly fixed, said Uncle Drew. Yes, forsooth, I'll buy a tooth. I'll stick it on with super glue. Go to Walmart, Sears and Almar, cried the youngest cousin, Keith. L.L. Bean, cried Norma Jean. Oh, someone's bound to have some teeth. And you can see a store called Dental Rental, one called Teeth R Us, and one called Say Cheese, all of which would probably sell teeth. Sell teeth. Uncle Ricky grabbed a stick. 
He said, I'll whittle this one really quick. Aunt May said, one from clay. I'll make it now this very day. We've been burgled, Aunt B. Gurgled. Call the army, call the police. Someone stole her little molar. Someone's robbed my little niece. Mrs. Fister hushed her sister, said to Ruthie, In this clan, we're the Fisters, Mrs. Misters, and we always have a plan. For this dental matter, mental fortitude is what we need. Ask the wisest to advise us, advise us. Ask the queen, they all agreed. So they're gonna ask the queen for help. So they faxed her and they asked her. Her reply was brief. You goons of this dental incident, I'll say just this. Time heals all wounds. That's all she said. Time heals all wounds. What does it mean, asked Aunt Bodine and Cousin Bess and Uncle Max. Said Ruth, now look here. Not now, my dear, we're trying to figure out this fax. So they keep interrupting Ruth. Ahem, said Ruth. I found my tooth and opened up for all to see. There's another, gasped her brother, where the other used to be. Did you ever, aren't you clever, cried the Fisters, silly child. Such a fuss you caused for us, but little Ruthie simply smiled. Simply smiled. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed that book. I'll see you again next week. Take care until then. Bye-bye.